Welcome all you super amazing hardware addicts. I am so excited to share this project with you. After we got that letter in from a listener talking about how they put Lineage OS on their Fire HD tablet, I just had to do it. And the kids have loved this change. Let's take a look at the stuff we're going to need on the hardware side. Of course, you're going to need a Fire HD tablet. This is the 2018 edition eight inch. A 2020 edition has just came out or it's coming out soon or right within that launch window. This will only work on the 2018 edition, though you can use the 16 gig or the 32 gig option. Yes, this one is new. No, you do not have to start with a new device. We have two year accidental warranty on ours because well, my children use them. One of them had some dead pixels that looked like somebody dropped something on it or possibly stepped on their tablet. Ugh, that's a different story. Anyway, this one's new. You do not have to use a new one. It just does need to be a 2018 edition. Next thing we're going to need is a quality cable. Why do I say quality cable? Well, we're going to be sending different commands and files to our tablet from our terminal. It's really important that you have a good connection between your tablet and your computer. No flakiness here. That is a horrible time to have something like that happen. Next thing we're going to need is a way to get the back off of our device. Either one of these type tools will work great. I got these ones from iFixit. No, they don't sponsor us, but they do make high quality tools that are great for getting into your devices like this. The last thing we're going to need is a paper clip. Why do we need this paper clip? Well, we're going to be causing a short on the device that is needed in order to, to work around with the vulnerability that causes us to add our custom recovery and change the ROM on it. This is a great time to mention that do this project at your own risk. Your device is your responsibility. Sometimes things happen, you end up with a brick, AKA a dead device that doesn't turn on, won't work properly anymore you have been warned. Let's go ahead and look at what we need on the software side to make this work. I did not come up with this process. You can find the original on XDA developers. Thank you so much to XYZ who found the vulnerability so that we can put custom recovery on there and run Lineage OS on Fire tablets. Thank you. So you'll find that link in the description. You will also need to have some stuff installed on your computer. So Android tools, and depending on which version of Linux you're running, depends on how exactly that's worded. So I'm on Manjaro. It's Android tools together. We'll have Fastboot and ADB. If you're on an Ubuntu base, I believe Fastboot and ADB are separated. So depending on what distro you're on, just look to see exactly what the file names are. So you need that and this for Python installed on your computer before you get started. You also need to make sure that you have all of these files downloaded for the Unlocking the bootloader process through this vulnerability, you will find all of those files here with the original instructions. The only one you don't absolutely have to have in the very beginning is revert to stock. Nevertheless, I suggest you have it and ready to go. Over time, things change, files are no longer available. Get it while you're already downloading. That way you have it. This file here will need to be extracted to this, which these are the first two files we are going to be using. So it's pretty important that it's one of the first to be downloaded and it's extracted and ready to go. Once you have all the stuff gathered that you need, everything installed that you need and all of the files downloaded that you need, which for me, that includes having lineage ready to go. And if you're installing 
Bing apps or Google apps to have that downloaded and ready to go. That way you can go from start to finish without having to wait for stuff to download. For some of you, that may not be a very big deal as you have faster internet. I live in the country where internet isn't always so consistent. So having everything downloaded, ready to go is pretty important. All right, now it's time to start having some fun. We are going to get this tablet open and doing it from a new tablet. This is one of the funnest parts about it, getting to take all the packaging off. We are going to start it up, go through the initial setup process. And one of those reasons is we want to know what version of Fire OS this tablet is on. It'll work for the 6.3.1.3. 0.4 and 0.5 versions of Fire OS. If there are later versions that come out, you're going to want to go back and check that original post from XDA Forms and make sure that this process will still work for the version of Fire OS that you are on. So as you can see, I'm on the 6.3.1.5, got the device shut off, and we're going to go through and try to get it all taken apart. Take your time. Some of those little tabs on the sides like to pop back in as you're working another side. This isn't a rush project. You don't need to force it. Slowly get the device apart so it's in good working condition when you're done. Get everything moved out of the way. And now we're going to get our paper clip unfolded and ready to go. So you want both of the ends out because in the process we are going to to connect to one of those little dots on the side. They're kind of hard to see right now. And then that main plate right next to it. Then we'll go ahead and dive into our terminal. I'm gonna CD into the file folder that I've got all of my different files saved under. And we're gonna run that bootrom-step.sh file. And this is where we're going to run the short. So you see now it's telling me it's waiting for boot realm. I'm going to plug in one end at the part to the tablet. I'm going to connect it to those two points. So you can see that CLK point and this base plate. That's where those two ends are going. Then I had my daughter take the other end of that USB device and plug it into the computer. It worked, told me to remove the short and press enter. And it's going to go ahead and run through all those little fun bits and pieces that are the key to this workaround, to this vulnerability that allows us to put on that custom recovery and even better, Lineage OS. This is one of those parts that it's really sped up. It does take some time. You're gonna wanna leave the tablet alone, leave the cord alone. I like to kind of leave and not bump it. Now that's done running, we're gonna flip it over. I had some issues on this time. The first time I ran it, things weren't kind of clicking. I had to go through into the stuff that was running and force Fastboot to shut down. Then it finally said waiting for devices. Even though it was plugged into the computer, I didn't see it. So I had to unplug it from the computer and plug it back in. On that second time when I took it out of the computer and plugged the USB part back into the computer, then it saw it, it finished running through that Fastboot SH setup, and now I've into recovery. Once we are into recovery, it is time to ADB push those first three files. So we got the 6300.zip, the magisk-v18zip, and the final.zip. The first one is the one that takes the longest to run. I find it really easy just, you know, up button on my keyboard and then fill in the finish fixing the file name that needs to go on. Then I like to check and make sure that the files that I ADB pushed to the device are actually on there. And as you can see, they are. Here I did a wipe, but I didn't need to do the stock one yet. 
it will be needed a little bit later. So we'll go ahead and flash that 6300.zip. This zip is going to take a while to flash. So when it says it will take forever, go get yourself a coffee, they really mean it. I have sped it up, I think 600% of the normal speed, and it's still going to take a while for it to get all the way done. If you sit there and watch it, it'll make it feel like it takes that much longer. So really go do something else, let it finish the flash, and then when you come back, you'll be all excited to see that it's done. Here we are, we finished up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do a base wipe of the system, just like that, super simple, and reboot. This initial reboot is going to take forever. It always does. Just leave it alone again. Let it finish booting. I also sped that up. And you can tell that I sped that up, walked away, and, and did something else. Because this Welcome to Fire actually runs for quite a bit before I get back to it. There's nothing wrong with that. You're not going to miss anything if you walk away. We're going to go ahead and hit continue. I'm going to choose my Wi-Fi and then cancel it and skip the setup. We are not going to set up. We're not going to connect to internet. Next thing we want to do is power off the device and reboot into recovery. So I've connect, clicked restart and I want to hold down the volume down rocker so we can reboot into recovery. But here is where I should have put the back on the device. The original instructions tell you to do this much later on in the steps, but I found that it's really hard to get those buttons hit properly without the outside physical buttons. So it's going to boot again. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the back on the device so that I have access to those buttons and it'll make it easier for me to restart and boot back into recovery. It just kind of snaps back on, so just go around all of the edges and get it. Here we go. Power off so we can reboot recovery. That's the power button and the volume down rocker. Voila, team win. I absolutely love this recovery mode. And now we're going to install those last two zips. First is the Magisk. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce that properly, but that's the one that if you left it alone, you didn't install any other ROM, then this would give you the root access. That's what this file is for. It doesn't take nowhere near as long as some of the others to install. And then we're going to go ahead and do the finalize zip that wraps everything up and make sure that this device is ready for whatever you want to do with it next. That's the fastest one of all. We'll reboot the system once again and make sure that it boots properly and that that zip file or that app is in the system like we want it to be. I didn't speed up this reboot, but it shouldn't take anywhere near as long as the previous ones because we haven't, we're not starting from scratch and we didn't just wipe the system. So that means that the reboot doesn't take nowhere near as long. Here we are. Scroll down. Takes a second. There we are. It's there. Now just exploring the app a little bit. Click on super user. There's nothing in there because we don't have any apps installed that are using super user. But you can see that that works and it's ready to go. So if you didn't want to take this next step and install Lineage, you would already, you'd be ready to go with a rooted device. But now I'm going to go ahead, reboot into recovery like I've done, and I want to delete the files that we installed previously, and it's because we don't need them anymore. And I'd like to have that space cleaned out when I go to ADB push 
Lineage OS, and if you want to install GAPS, GAPS. So now all of those files are removed. I'm headed to my terminal and I'm going to push the Lineage OS zip and the GAPS zip. I've sped this process up too, just so you don't have to see the full file push to the device. It really doesn't take that long as compared to everything else. Then we're going to go ahead and check, make sure that those files are where they are supposed to be. There they are. And I'm going to do a more advanced wipe this time where I wipe the system. Do not reboot after you do this because there is no OS to boot from. After that, I'm going to go ahead and flash lineage. I have sped this process up. You know, let stuff take its course. It all takes time. And after that, if you want to, go ahead and install Google Apps. We are almost done. This one does take longer, even though I've used the, I believe the nano version, just because it's adding things, removing things, doing some different configurations. Then we're going to go ahead and reboot the device. This is going to be an initial reboot again. That does take longer the very first time. So just have patience. As you can see, we now have Lineage on here. I'm not going to go through the complete setup with you, but I will show you that it does boot and go into settings and show you that we are running Lineage 16. I know my kids, like I said, have absolutely been loving having Lineage on their tablets. It has been so much fun for me to play with them and get to get Fire OS off of there and Lineage on. The kids have been enjoying increased speed and I'm loving the fact that we have way more use out of them. So if you followed along, congratulations. That's it for now, all you hardware addicts. 